In this video, we'll see how the drive command provides simple driver's eye views through the model relative to reference geometry with user-defined offsets and a surface mesh that can be animated at a user-defined speed and help validate simple line of sight model integrity. To find the command, we're gonna to go to the civil front stage in the main toolbar and select the drive icon. The command requires linear geometry where the mode is set to alignment which is the default. All alignments highlight in the model to aid in selection of the control. You can choose the alignment from the pull-down or by selecting it on the screen. As you can see, we've been rotated to the beginning of the alignment and the drive controller is displayed. The play button allows you to start and stop the drive animation. There is a location slider. This provides the current station along the reference alignment start and end and distance along the linear geometry. The minimap option is a dockable view that provides a top-down overview that tracks the eye location and the direction of travel. Note, where targets are defined, these are also shown in the minimap in the selected color. The reverse direction option allows you to travel in the opposite direction down the alignment. Simply select the tool and you will flip to the opposite direction. When we select options, we can change the eye height, speed, and lateral offset. You can adjust the eye height up or down from the baseline. You can also adjust the drive speed. The lateral offset allows you to move the target point either left or right. Inputting a negative number will move left, and a positive number will move right. Targets can be added to the drive command. This is great for doing line of sight to make sure a view is not obstructed. We add a target to the view. We can now define the distance offset and height. We can also toggle on and off the target zoom. We'll change the distance to 100 feet and we now see the target. Now let's do the offset and we'll push it over 50 feet. All right, that might be a little bit too far, so we'll bring it back. Let's go to 20 feet. And now we'll define the height. Let's start at 15 feet to see how that looks. But actually, we want to bring it now down to 2 feet. Let's update the offset one more time to 60 feet to get it off the roadway. Then we'll start the drive tool. And here's what's happening is we're moving along. And if we, our line of sight gets blocked to the target, a message is going to come up saying the target is not visible. This is a great option for checking line of sight. This concludes an overview of the drive tool. Please go to www.bentley.com for more information. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.